This is the Pythagorean Theorem Calculator for MathCelebrity.com. There's a couple ways to get there. The first is type Pythagorean Theorem. And you're going to use this calculator here. Or for a triangle with sides A, B, and C, you can actually shortcut your triangle sides where C is a hypotenuse. So you could do something like A equals 3, B equals 4. So as you can see, hypotenuse is side C. We use A, B, and C for the sides. So because we entered side 1 and side 2, we're going to calculate hypotenuse. Here's the formula. Plug in our numbers. Evaluate. Simplify. We get 5. So now that we're on the calculator, what if we entered 5 here and remove this? Let's solve missing side. We should get 4. So what we do again is we show the relationship. We rearrange the equation. Now to solve for side 2. Plug in our numbers, we get 4. So now, what if we emptied out side 1 and we want to solve for that and fill in side 2? We should get 3. Side 1 is hypotenuse squared minus side 2 squared. Plug and shrug, evaluate, we do get 3, which is great. So the calculator is very pretty simple to use. Now let me show you one more shortcut. Before we had a equals 3, b equals 4. Well, what if we had a equals 3, c equals 5? So we'll solve for side 2 or b. Press the button. So as you can see, it filled in side 1, the hypotenuse, and it ran it where we need to solve for side 2. So if you use a, b, and c for your shortcuts, it will assume you mean a right triangle. Last feature we have is that we show the Pythagorean theorem proof. So for this, you enter all three sides, and it checks to see if it is indeed a Pythagorean triangle. So it shows the relationship, and then it shows the picture of how the Pythagorean theorem, how we prove that. So as area of the larger square, scroll down. So here's our formula. We plug in our numbers, and because both sides equal each other, this is a right triangle. Now, what if we would have entered 6? And press Show Pythagorean Theorem Proof. We'll scroll down again. This is all the same as the last calc, just inscribing a square in another square. And now, when we plug in our numbers, 25 is not equal to 36, so this is not a right triangle because the relationship does not hold. So that's pretty much it. If you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the Contact Us link. Thanks for watching.